Hey, it's JC1424 once again with February 2020's monthly music episode. Keep in mind, I don't care if you don't like what I listen to, and you shouldn't care if I don't like what you listen to. And guess what month it is? It's the month of the big one. The Daytona 500. Which is funny, because at the number 5 spot we have Full Circle by Five Finger Death Punch. While I still do enjoy the lead single, Inside Out, a bit more, this one starts to give me higher expectations for their upcoming album, F8, which I do believe is coming out on February 28th, the very end of the month. The riff and mixing are more creative on this track, and the songwriting as a whole is much more impressive. And the message here is kind of just like, grab your popcorn and, and get ready to relax and just enjoy the show, because it's all about to go to shit. And that's something that you can also expect to happen in the day 2500. <laughs> At number four, we have Set Me Free by Avenged Sevenfold. I think I heard somewhere that this was supposed to be on their album Hail to the King, which was released like six or seven years ago. I don't know why not. It would have been one of the best tracks on there, in my opinion. Although moderately repetitive, it's much more powerful in its melodies coming from the guitar itself, and it perfectly captures that feeling of struggling to let go of something. In the number three spot, we have What's in the Eye by Grey Days. Chester Bennington sang for this grunge band before he joined Linkin Park in 1999. In 2017, he had a reunion with them just before his passing. They recreated a bunch of their old stuff, and this song in particular is like that classic single that just never was. I mean, it's like listening to Creed, except actually brilliant. In the number two spot, we have Black Hole in Your Heart by Theory of a Dead Man. The sock is all in, this pit is bottomless, the lies are trying to mess. You're pushing, you're pulling, your cancer is showing, feel me drift away. The first song on their new album, Say Nothing, and it is orchestrated in spectacular fashion. Yet, it's a lot more like what they are known for than anything from their previous album. The song lets the guitar and drums be just as important as the synthetic and retro features that they're bringing in the past couple albums, since they also rebranded their band name to just Theory. But I, I think they're still Theory of a Dead Man in the end. Number one, we have Don't Go Outside by Poppy. completely on board with their first album. It was like eating a sugar cookie, except putting sugar on it. And more sugar on it. And then she took some sugar off for the second album, and she replaced it with little experimentation of industrial and metal. And now, damn! She went full-on progressive industrial metal with falsetto vocals and queen-like guitar solos. And this this shit's just a medley of what makes the actual album so freaking exciting. Check it out. I gotta get myself a copy of this shit. I already got one on the way of my freaking massive uh, tax return from just working for this new company for half a freaking year, stealing all my money. But thanks for watching this monthly music vid and episode over.